Um, this is a video on how to unload and load your film. I have a 35mm camera here. It is a K Sears KS500. So this is what you do, basically. On the bottom of your camera, and this should go, this should be pretty standard for every 35mm camera. Oh, well, make sure you shut the whole roll. Mine is completely done. Push the film release button. It's right here on the bottom on my camera. It should be on the bottom of your camera. It's going to release the film so that you can crank it back into its canister. So a little canister comes in, that's where it's going to go back. So, pressed. Cool. So after you do that, you're going to take this button here, which is your film lever cranker thing. Um, this basically cranks the film. You're going to lift the little thing up like that so you get a little, little leverage here. And then whatever way, there should be an arrow on here, and there's an arrow right on mine that's pointing this direction. So I'm going to spin it this direction and I'm feeling a little bit of pressure here so that's good that means the film is going back that so just crank that all the way back um, it should be done after you've done you have felt the release you've done a few safety cranks you're gonna pop this this button here comes up. There we go. This is open. And this is gonna pop open. Did you hear that click? Sweet. So this is the roll that I shot and I love it. So I'm gonna write on it to keep track of it so that I know what's on it, you know, cause I'm shooting a lot of film lately. New roll. I'm gonna show you how to load now. Take the film out of the box. Looks like this. Take this off. You're gonna open this up. Fail. You're going to put it in with the spoolie side down because that's how it fits in my camera. Some cameras are different. Should get in there nicely. Down. This button goes down. I like to put it just all the way down because I don't want my film to go anywhere. It's not going to shake out because you have this lever down and it's keeping it in place. The next thing you do here is you're going to pull this film across. And if you could see closely in here, little little tiny slots, you're going to basically, and you could turn this, whatever, um, find a slot, a nice slot to put that in. So basically just stretch it across and put it in a slot. So another thing to think about is these little prongs here. So there's there's um, some prongs on your way to the lever. That's gonna keep your film in place. So to check to see whether your film is in place or not, you're gonna pull the shutter, I mean the, like the advance button. When I pull the advance button, you're gonna see the film traveling across. Perfect, so I'm gonna close the back now so that I don't expose any more film. The way you know that your film is loaded, it's working, you'll see this dial spinning. You'll see it going boop. So keep your eye on that too when you're shooting. So just shoot, advance, keep your eye on this thing. If it's all rolling, you're good to go. I have a Sears camera, that's what I'm using. So if you're curious on shooting film, on shooting photography in general, stick around this channel and you can follow me around and I'll be doing all, all sorts of fun things um, with my cameras. So. Thanks for stopping by, clicking my video. I hope that you got the film in your camera, okay? Keep advance, shoot, advance, shoot.